Abhishek and Abhinandan together can complete a work in 20 days. Abhinandan started to work alone and completed two thirds of the work. And the remaining work is completed by Abhishek alone. They completed the work in total 39 days. Find in how many days Abhinandan alone can complete the work if he works for the whole number of days. So basically two equations have been given to us. One is that Abhishek and Abhinandan together can complete the work in 20 days. Let's assume Abhishek takes uh, kind of S days and Abhinandan takes N days to do a work, right? So they together can complete a work in 20 days means what? 1 by S plus 1 by N equals to 1 by 20. Or, you know, right, when two persons are working together, they will take AB by A plus B days. So here we can say SN by S plus N equals to 20. Right? We know that together they will take 20 days. That can be directly obtained as SN by S plus N. Or you can also try the other equation. 1 by S plus 1 by N equals to 1 by 20. So this is equation number 1. What's the other equation? Abhinandan started to work alone and completed two-thirds of the work. And the remaining work is completed by... Sorry. And the remaining work is completed by Abhishek alone. So it's obvious that if Abhinandan has done two-thirds of the work, the remaining work is one-third, which was done by Abhishek alone. And they completed this in 39 days. See, try and understand, Abhinandan will do the total work in n days. So do, to do two-thirds of the work, he will take two by three n days. Yes or no? For total work, he takes n days. So for two-thirds of the work, he will take two by three n days. And the remaining work, one-third of the work was done by Abhishek, who usually takes s days. So to do one-third of the work, he will take s by three days. This is equal to 39 days. Number of days spent by Abhinandan in doing two-thirds of the work plus number of days spent by Abhishek in doing one-third of the work is equal to 39 days. This is equation number two. Two equations, two unknowns. Can you solve? Yes. Now, like I said, if options were given, see, what do we have to find out? Find out how many days can Abhinandan alone complete the work if he works for the whole number of days. So what is n? n is equal to what is the question? If options were given, we could have substituted to verify which one satisfies both. Here, you'll have to, you know, play with it for some time. Yeah. So what do we actually get from this equation? We can say 2n plus s equals to 39 times 3. 3 is the common uh, denominator, there, right? So 2n plus s equals to 39 into 3, which is uh, 117, right? 2n plus s equals to 117 and uh, sn plus s by n sorry sn by s s plus n equals to 20 solving the equations is a little cumbersome oh we have to find out what is n right so let, let's say from this we get s equals to 117 minus 2n just put that back in the first equation. I mean, there's no other way out. So what do we get? If you put this in first equation, we will get 117 minus 2n into n divided by 117 minus 2n plus n equals to 20. Simplify this now. So 117n minus 2n squared. 117n minus 2n squared equals to, see this is 117 minus 2n plus n is 117 minus n. So 20 times of 117 minus n. You will get a quadratic equation, you have to solve for it. Hmm. So basically 117n minus 2n squared equals to 20 into, I'll keep it as it is, minus 20n. So if you take the terms properly, 2n squared uh, minus 20n and this is minus 117n, so minus 137n. 2n square minus 137n plus 20 into 117. That's like 2340 equals to 0. Yeah, and now you have to solve. Solve the quadratic equation. See, again, that's what I told, right? Solving this equation would be, and you can solve for it and get the value of n. So find out what is n from this one. Either use the formula, right? Minus uh, b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a or try to factorize this and get the answer you will get the value of n from this one right you can obtain the value of n but what is the smart solution in the exam options will be given to you for n don't substitute in this don't even come to this this part of the solution directly put n in this option to find out the value of s or in this option to find out the value of s and then put s and n both here to see if you are getting 20 or not 
the one that uh, satisfies gives you the answer okay and and maybe you can also use the other equation like i said you need not use this equation all, uh, always you can also take 1 by s plus 1 by n equals to 1 by 20 and uh, try to see if you can get the answer that way 